Connect the air compressor to the driven air inlet of the pump. Add lubricator appropriation oil to oil sprayer to lubricate the compressed air. Make sure has opened the output valve of the tank. According to the test medium you need, fill clean water or hydraulic oil to the inlet port of the tank. Then, slowly rotate the driven air pressure regulator. Adjusting the pressure of the drive air to 3 bars. Check and close all valves. Close. Close. Connect the high pressure hose to the equipment outlet. The next step is to exhaust air from the hose. Open the high pressure outlet valve. Turn on the driven air switch. The pump starts working when water or hydraulic media flows out of the end of the test pipe or test vessel. It can be confirmed that the air in the pump and test fittings has been discharged. Open the driven air switch. Slowly adjust the drive air pressure regulating valve to increase the drive air pressure. The pump begins to work. The corresponding output test pressure will also increase slowly. Meanwhile, observe the value of the high pressure test pressure gauge. In this video, the ratio of the output test pressure of the pump to the pressure of the driving air is 175 to 1. Slowly adjust the driven air pressure regulating valve. When the value of the pressure gauge reaches the required high pressure output pressure, 1000 bar, turn off the driven air switch. Depending on your requirements, you can then proceed with hydrostatic testing, pressure holding tests, or for continuous pressurization. After pressurization or testing is completed, turn off the driven air switch. Slowly open the liquid pressure relief valve. To begin releasing pressure from the pump's pipeline and from test fittings for test container. At this time, the value of the high pressure test gauge is slowly decreasing. When the value on the pressure gauge shows zero, it indicates that there is no pressure in the pipeline and test fittings.